To my brothers and sisters today, we're going to talk about something very strange or very, subhanAllah, very scary in a way. We all know that at the end of the day, the people will be divided, a group in Jannah and a group in the hellfire. May Allah make us all from the people of Jannah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, يَوْمَئِذٍ يَتَفَرَّقُونَ In Surah Al-Rum, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, on that day, they will be separated. And in Surah Al-Shura, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَرِيقٌ فِي الْجَنَّةِ وَفَرِيقٌ فِي السَّعِيرِ A group in Jannah and a group in the Sa'id. Now, after the people go to Jahannam and they stay there for a period only known to Allah Azza wa Jal, after that, they will have four wishes. They will have four wishes. Today we're going to do something different, inshallah ta'ala. I'm going to ask Sheikh Sajjad to help me. I will mention the wish and he will recite the ayah of the wish, my beloved Sheikh. So the first wish is that they go and they make that wish and that request from Allah Azza wa Jal. They start with Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala begging him and they say A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem Rabbana akhrijna min hasanin udna fa'inna zalimun قَالَ اخْسَرُوا مِنْهَا قَالَ اخْسَرُوا فِيهَا وَلَا تُكَلِّمُونَ So the first request, they would go to Allah Azza wa Jal and they would say, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, bring us back. And if you bring us back and we do something evil, then you can call us ظالمون. Please, Ya Allah, bring us back. Give us a chance to go back and do something. And subhanAllah, yani I beg Allah in this blessed night of, of Jumu'ah to make me and you and everybody who's watching us to not hear these words from Allah Azza wa Jal. Ya Allah, do not make us hear these words from you. Qala khsa'u fiha. Stay in it. Khsa'u is a very, very powerful verb. Not only stay fiha, stay in it. Stay in it, humiliated, disgraced, all the bad words. Wala tukallimun. And don't ever talk to me again. So the first wish is they go to Allah and request to go back. Then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, they come to the second wish. On the second wish, who do they go to? Malik. They go to Malik. Who's Malik? The guard of Jahannam. What do they say to Malik? Ya Malik. Ya Malik, tell your Rabb, subhanAllah, even though they are in Jahannam, they're still disrespectful. Your Rabb, tell your Rabb to do what? To kill us. We want to die. They're begging for death. Please, we cannot take this anymore. Ask your Rabb to end it. We want to die. Malik will answer and say, Inna makithun. You are staying there forever. Now that is the second wish. When they gave up on Malik, they go to Khazanati Jahan. They go to the guards of Jahannam, the angels. How many angels are around Jahannam? Alayha tis'ata ashar. Nineteen angels assigned by Allah Azza wa Jal. Now they go to them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Ghafir, He said, they went to the guards of Jahannam and they begged them, Udo, please ask Allah to save, just skip one day. One day of adab, one day of torment. Let's skip one day. Let's make it every other day. Let's wait, take a break one day a week. Because keep in mind, the people in Jahannam, in front of them, fire. Behind them, fire. To the right, fire. Above them, fire. To the left, fire. Below them, fire. Everywhere is fire. They drink fire. They, they eat fire. Allahumma ajurna min al-nar. So they sing, Ya angels, please, we beg you, ask Allah to skip one day, yawman min al-adab. Just one day of adab, let's take a break, and then we will continue the adab. Just give us a break. Angels answer and say, Didn't uh, uh, messengers, Allah send you messengers with bayinat, clear. Everything was very clear. Just like we're saying now, Ya Shabab, my brothers and sisters, wake up. This is true. This is haq. And I'm nothing compared to the angel, to the, to the messengers. Their messengers came with, 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 with miracles. They came with dalil. They came with ayat. Stop what you're doing. Come back to Allah Azza wa Jal. Didn't you, look at this, there's a conversation going on. Didn't you listen that the messengers came to you with clear, with clear evidence? They said, yeah, naam, bala. Yes, they did. 
And then here, sarcastically, the angels say, Okay, then why don't you make dua? Why don't you make dua? وَمَا دُعَاءُ الْكَافِرِينَ إِلَّا فِي ضَلَالٍ But unfortunately, or your dua that you are making right now is for waste. They went to Allah first. They went to Malik second. They went to the guards of Jahannam. And now who do they go to? The people of Jannah. The people of Jannah. Now somebody would say, there's a conversation going on between the people of Jannah and the people of the Hellfire. Well, it was very clear in Surah Al-A'raf. So the people of Jahannam, the people of the Hellfire, Ibn Abbas radiallahu an, he said, the man, the person will ask his father, the person will ask his brother, give me some water, please give me anything, whatever, mimma razakakum Allah, from whatever Allah has given you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specified that they request water. Now when someone asks you for something here in this dunya, and you think it's, and you say it's uh, something very, very easy, what do you say? Just like water, Allah. The simplest thing, the easiest thing, the most available thing in this dunya will be the wish of the people of the health. The wish to get a sip of water. Please, just a little bit of water to put this fire, to drink, just a little bit of water. The people of Jannah will answer and they say, Allah made water haram upon you. Everything we have right here now, all the luxury, all the fruits, all the rivers, everything we have is haram for you. It's haram for you. My brothers and sisters, the four requests that the people of the hellfire make, first from Allah, then from Malik, then from the angels, then from the people. Why did this all happen? Why did they get there in the first place? Allah mentioned that in the ayah right after the request from the people of the hellfire to the people of Jannah. The main reason why did they get there in the first place is because they took their deen as a joke. Ah, salat five times a day, alhamdulillah. I have a clean heart. I'm a good person. I don't harm anybody. Why do I have to pray? They took the deen lab, joke and play and amusement. They did not obey Allah Azza wa Jal. They did not stay with Allah from what Allah has prohibited. What happened? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Today you will suffer in the hellfire because of what you did. You ignored the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You ignored the orders of Allah Azza wa Jal. So you will be punished in the hellfire because you used to deny our our verses. So my brothers and sisters, we all know that the Jannah is Haq and the Jahannam, they're both Haq. And this is one of the pillars, Iman. Iman is to believe that there is Jannah and there is, and the believer is always hanging with hope that Allah will forgive him and enter him to Jannah and fear that Allah will punish and get him into the hellfire. We live our life with that hope and fear. No complete hope all the time. Oh, khalas, I am Muslim. I'm going to Jannah anyway. And like a brother told me the other day, I'm going to hell anyway. No, no, you don't have that and you don't have this. You live with the both wings, like Ibn al-Qayyim said, one wing of hope and one wing of fear. And you act upon that until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decree our dust. Finally, subhanallah, look at this. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, whomsoever ask Allah azza wa jal, and from the hell fire, any time the hell fire will tell Allah, Ya Allah, keep him away from What is the dua? Allahumma ajirni min al-nar. Allahumma ajirni min al-nar. All of us three times, inshallah. Allahumma ajirna min al-nar. Allahumma ajirna min al-nar. One more time. Allahumma ajirna min al-nar. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullah khair. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.